service should be regular. This is, uh, this is a goal, okay? This is something that we should do all the time. This isn't like a one and done. If you're kind of like, I checked that off the list, got it done, help somebody today, you know? That's not the right attitude. The right attitude is to make service a regular thing. Not like, well, I helped somebody last week, filled my quota. This is a goal we need to shoot for. This is a goal. Now listen, ironically, it was Bruce Lee that said this. He said, a goal is not always meant to be reached. It's often served simply as something to aim at. This is what we aim at. This is what we're looking to do. We're not always going to be able to help everybody. Sometimes we'll have the ability to help someone and serve them, and we're ready. We have a ready posture, and, and, and there's no one here in this proximity to serve. Oftentimes it's because we're not looking for it, and that's just true. Oftentimes if we look for people to serve, God will reveal that to you. And he'll say, here's, a, here's people right here. This was, uh, this was the goal of God. Now, we know that he came to earth. Jesus came to earth to die on the cross to pay for our sin. We know that. But Mark 10.45 says this, For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Listen, his goal was to serve. Now, he served in death, but he served in life. The reason Jesus came was not for us to serve him. He came to serve us. Now, we should serve him, yes. Because preparing to serve is not just, is not just exclusive to, to, to believers, but also to unbelievers, but also to God. And so oftentimes we say we can only help a certain group of people. Homeless people. People without food. People without clothes. We say, no, this is for all of them. It's for, it's for all of the believers, all of the unbelievers, for the people who are in need, for the people who deserve it. It's also for God. Service is, is vast. It's amazing how vast it is. This was the reason Jesus came. Not to be served, but to serve. Are you serving other people on a regular basis? Are you serving people all the time? When you, when you go to work, some of you who work, some of you are retired, are you, are you, or, or do we say, well, we're retired from that. We don't, have to, we don't have to serve anymore. I mean, serving should be something that you do all the time. Getting the door for people, that's like a, that's like history. They used to do that back in the day. They don't do that anymore. How many times have you just stopped and just open the door for just a stream of people. It's simple. Every door you walk through, you could hold the door for people. I mean, that is like a little fragment. I mean, that's like nothing. Like, we should do that by accident. We should, we should take out the garbage by accident. You know, it's like when the garbage cans over Florence flow and cinch it up and take it out. I mean, that's just a real simple thing. That should be accidental. Unless you're Kenny, and then you just squish it down with your foot, right? That's how he does it. There's a joke there, but I, anyway. Serving should be regular. We need to set up a plan, don't we? We need to set up a plan for serving. As, as Christians, I think it's, uh, it's only like uh, when, when, uh, when somebody, you know, this older person is, is coming through the door, and it's, you just hold the door, and then that's just one time, and then you just... But set up a plan. Have you ever done that? Uh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I would, uh, I would go out and shovel sidewalks and, uh, and, and driveways. Now, I, don't, I try not to do that anymore. <laughs> and uh, probably it's the reason why I hate snow so much these days. But I would just do that. I wouldn't do it for money. Not all the time. Sometimes, actually, matter of fact, usually when I would do it, someone would pay me, and I would make more than if I just asked, and, hey, listen, for five bucks, I'll shovel your... your because they usually work me down. They were good. I was like, five bucks to shove your sidewalk. You'd be like, how about I give you a four? And I'm just, you know, excited. If I do it for free, they give me ten. But I'd set up a plan. I'd, I'd, I'd say, hey, mom, it's, it's uh, snowing outside. I'm going to go shovel some sidewalks. And I'd just go out there just to help. 
you know, I'm, 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 I'm not some hero. I mean, whatever. I just want to help. I just help somebody. Unless it's my dad, and then he would just tell me to go do it. Is that how it works? <laughs> we should have a plan to serve other people. You know, it's interesting how, um, how we serve people today, but it's always ourselves. You know, when you look at society today, we are a self-serving people. Everything is about us, isn't it? Seems to be everything is about us. Here's a, a wonderful verse. Listen to this. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Always thinking about someone else more than you're thinking about yourself. The interest of others should be our top priority. It should be our absolute top priority. What about them? Now, what about me? You know, in, interestingly, if we all did that, in this room, thought about someone else, we'd never have to think about ourselves because we'd have a whole group of people thinking about us. If I'm looking out for everybody in this room and everybody's looking out for me, I, don't, I got 60 people helping me and I, I don't have to worry about it. But you know what happens is we become very self-serving because this is what the world tells you. This is what the world tells you. You got to get your own. You got you to claw your way to the top. You got to go out there and you just got to do what needs to be done. Man, go out there and get it. Right? That's what the world tells you. As opposed to say, look, no, 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 no. No, no. I, I want to go out there. I want to help people. And you know what? If I never see anything in return, then that's fine. How many of you have that attitude? It's usually about me. I want something out of this deal. It's all about me. In marriages, it's that way. With your kids, it's that way. In churches, it's that way. In your job, it's definitely that way. You want to be served. Seems like everybody wants to harvest, but nobody wants to plow the field. Think about this. Think about the fact that our top priority should be the interest of other people. The simple and selfless habit of serving people. It's going to make you a grateful people. It's going to make you a real grateful people.